Yeah, I mean, people always fall off at the mini drone. You have to have some sort of safety mat, yeah. So I've raced in a few, and um, I have a few different tactics. There's the one tactic where I just go as fast as I possibly can, and I'm quite good at that one, but sometimes you just totally lose it and fall off. Like, so the other tactic is just take it slow and steady, don't fall off, but hope that you go fast enough. That one doesn't work so well, so I think I'm gonna go for the really all out, go for it tactic this time. <laughs> I, I would definitely, I would definitely use riser bars for the mini drone. Um, there's, there's just not the right sort of thing for drops like you'd ride on a real velodrome because, well, in my opinion, it's more like doing a wall ride, you know, because it's steep and tight. So I'm used to doing that on other kinds of bikes. It's about leaning your body in, whereas on a normal velodrome you'd be straight over the drops going for it. I think you need big, wide riser bars. That's my tip. <laughs> You're oh, I've entered a few mini drones in the past and they're super good fun. I'm really excited about the Met Mini Drone event in April in Lille Jodin. Don't you think your head, but thing of your mood. 